I think it's fair to say that if you're watching this video, then you probably aren't getting all of the Instagram stories views that you wanna be getting. Now, step one and the first thing we need to think about is to manage expectation. I did a survey on my Instagram and a huge amount of people responded. And I found that the average person that was you know, doing quite well on their stories was getting about 10%. That means that if they had a thousand followers, they were getting a hundred views on their Instagram stories. Some people were doing a little better and getting around 20% and some people were getting about four or five percent it really depends on the type of content that they were putting out but what we're going to do with the tips in this video is we're going to double our views we're going to take the average 10 percent and we're going to turn it into 20 percent and i know we can do this because i did it with my own stories now the next thing we need to think about is how many stories should we be posting throughout the day the short answer would be anything between 5 and 15 posts per day. That's something that I feel personally is a good amount. Now it really depends actually what you're doing. So for example, if you are traveling or if you are out on a photography trip or you're, you know, you're out doing something that relates to your niche and you're in a kind of high activity period, I think it's fine to post loads because you're gonna be actually doing lots of interesting things that your followers will care about. But if you are just having a lazy day at home, maybe post a little bit less about that because you know, it may become repetitive more quickly. So that's something to think about is, you know, if I'm out on a photography trip, you know, I'm gonna post loads. If I'm just at home, I probably won't, you know, I might post about me having breakfast or something, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, I've got breakfast, you know, brushing my teeth, you know, getting my shoes on, <laughs> you know, I'm probably gonna post less when there's less going on. So consider that, but you know, short answer, five to 15 posts a day, something like that. Now, another important thing to do, and this is a little bit of a hack, I suppose, is actually to space them out throughout the day. I think the average person um, is probably checking their Instagram every 30 minutes to an hour. So if you post every 30 minutes to an hour, they're gonna, that's gonna put your story right at the front every time they open the app. If you post all 15 all in one go, this person will tap on your stories, watch them all, hopefully, and then, you know, then they won't see you again because you're not you're not posting, they've seen it all already. Whereas if you were to post throughout the day, every time they pick up their phone, there's a new story to watch and that's gonna give you more taps on your face at the top there, if your face is a profile picture. Uh, so that's a really good thing to do is just space it out throughout the day. Now the next point, and this is actually a really interesting one, and, and this is start with something good. So let's say I haven't posted any stories and I post something really good. I will find that I will get higher views on the stories after that if I've posted something good. And the same is true in the opposite sense. If I actually post something that's just a little bit boring but I just felt like posting it, then I have actually found that the number of views that I get, which is lower, actually seems to correspond to the, the posts after that as well. So start with something good. Now the next point, I don't know whether this really increases views or not, but it is a nice little hack that you can do. Just remember that if you need to pack loads of hashtags into your stories or you need to put loads of stickers in and mentions and things like that, just remember that you can hide those things with stickers. You can put them in and then put a sticker over the top. I think people have been doing this for a long time, so I'm not gonna dwell on it, but just remember that you can do that. Now the next point, and this, you know, similar to the last one, this is, you know, getting really creative with stories. In fact, you remember I said at the beginning that I did a survey on everyone's stories and what views they were getting. The way I did that was actually quite interesting. I used the, uh, you know, the slider and I added text to it to make it a kind of a bit of a gauge. And I think a lot of people actually just engaged with this post because it was interesting and they maybe not seen many people do it that way. So if you can find a way to use all of Instagram stickers in a way that they're maybe not intended to be used, that's really interesting, I think you would probably drive more engagement to your stories and that will result in more views. Now, I think the next one goes without saying, but that is, you know, make your stories interactive. It's an absolute definite that the more engagement that your story gets, the more views it will get. So if you've added stickers and people are like, doing things with it, you know, doing polls and doing sliders and all those sorts of things, you'll get more views. And if you are getting loads of DMs from your story, you'll get more views. If your story is getting people to interact with it, it's a clear sign to Instagram that this is an interesting story post and it will get more views. It's as simple as that. Now, of all the different stickers and things that you can do to your story to make it engaging, I really do think that polls is one of the best. It's one of the best for a few different reasons. The, the first being that People don't really have to think to respond, they just have to tap on it. They don't have to think of something to say in order to respond to your story. They also are probably gonna be divided in opinion, so they probably want to express their opinion, and it feels like this natural urge to contribute to your story. 
And the other thing is that, you know, it doesn't really reveal the results of the poll until you engage with it. And some people might just be curious and want to know what the results were. So they're going to tap on it just just to do that. So there's a three key ways that, that people will be compelled and have this real urge to respond to your story. And you can use that to your advantage. So use polls. Now, the next one is kind of unfortunate for us photographers, but it is the case that a shared post to your stories gets less views. I can understand why Instagram make it this way. They're trying to reduce the amount of stories that are just shared posts, because I can see why they'd want more stories to be original, interesting content and less just feed posts, because it's a kind of duplication of content. There's this content happening in two places at the same time. But this is really unfortunate for us photographers, because this is the best way for us to get our work to new people. So it's unfortunate that Instagram do limit this. But the point is, is that when I share a post to my stories, that stories will get less views. And as we talked about in the beginning, the posts after that will also get less views. Now, if you're finding this video useful, make sure you hit the like button. That really helps me out and leave a comment, even if it's just to say hi, these things really help this video reach new people. And I never say this, but if you are subscribed, uh, hit the notification button because I sometimes create content that's a little different to this and YouTube doesn't push it out to you in the same way. So if you do want to see the content, make sure you hit the notification button. Thanks. Now this is going to be a really weird tip, okay? But the next one is post good content if you want more people to see it. I do get a lot of messages from people, uh, either feed posts, whatever it is, reels. They send me content and say, hey, I'm not getting any views. And bluntly, it's because it's not that interesting. And I'm not saying that that person isn't interesting. I'm saying that they probably could be doing better with their content before they start reaching out to other people for help. Create content that you are really excited to share. And often the times that people are coming to me and they're not getting views, it's because they're making their content all about them. You know, we see celebrities do this, but they're celebrities. People care about them. Nobody cares about me. No one cares about what I'm doing. So the content I put out, I try and make it so that it's helping you or bringing insight to you in some way. Because, you know, I'm not Ariana Grande and no one cares about pictures of me. So I'm not going to get views if I just keep taking pictures of myself. For someone like me, my content is going to reach more people if it's helpful and if it's inspiring. So that's what I try to do. So even though this tip is a strange one, make good content, it's probably the most important one. Now for the next tip, if anyone has seen my Reels videos, I talk about how it's very important to get people to watch all the way through. So when you're documenting your life, when you're doing something and you're putting it on stories, do it in a way that's going to get them to watch that little bit longer. Uh, a really clear example of this, OK, let's say that there's a beautiful view in front of me rather than just filming the view and expecting someone to sit there for 15 minutes. Maybe I film the floor and I move up to the view. If I do something beforehand that makes it clear that I'm about to reveal something, then they'll probably stay and watch that and it will just give you a few more seconds and that will probably help with your engagement. This could be applied to so many things. Just that concept will do wonders for your stories. This applies to reels, this applies to captions, this applies to everything. Lead into the thing rather than just delivering it, lead into it and get, let them spend those extra few seconds on the content and I promise you, you'll notice a difference. Now the next point, and this is a really important one, okay? This is not gonna get you more views, but this is gonna make you happier about the views that you are getting. Think about this, okay? Maybe you aren't getting, you know, 20% views. Maybe you're not even getting 10%. I bet you, if you go into that list, you will see that there are people that watch every single one of your stories, and that's amazing, okay? I think too many people out there are chasing more views, more followers, and more stuff, when really they need to be thinking about the people who are actually consuming their content and enjoying them and supporting them by engaging. Create content for them because they're there every day. They're there watching your stuff. They're interested in what you're doing. And that is very important. So I'm saying when you're creating content, don't have strangers in mind. Have the people who watch you every day in mind because those are the people that matter. And to summarize this, Instagram stories are there to be enjoyed. They're my absolute favorite part of the platform because we don't have to stress about it. So the intention of this video is not to make you stress out about trying to get more views. It is trying to make it so that you can 
optimize the experience that you're already providing to people and just try and, you know, make your content just a little bit leaner to try and get more people to see it. They are your followers after all. They've decided to hit the follow button and they should be seeing your content. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm Johnny Keeley. I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and come and say hi in the comments. Come and say hi on Twitter and come and say hi on Instagram. And to all of my subscribers, I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.